until today, you could only share single chat in ChatGPT, but now you can share entire projects with your team. This changes everything. In this video, I'll show you how it works, why it matters, and how you can start collaborating inside ChatGPT. Let's check out how to create a project and share with our team members. So this works right now on ChatGPT Teams accounts. I've heard it works on Edu and also Enterprise. It is supposed to come to Plus and Pro. How is that going to be in sharing? I don't know yet, but I'll update you on that one. But let's start a new project. Let's call this project YouTube Content Plan. I'll find a little red icon. Let's see if we can put something that would make us feel like it's a YouTube project. Maybe this. All right. Let's remember that we have to make sure we're in project only because we cannot change this later. I'm not going to risk it. I don't think that you can share projects that has a default memory, meaning accesses your workspace memory that accesses your memory because this is supposed to be shared with other team members. So we can do project only memory. We will create this project. And now, similar to how we would share a ChatGPT thread, we have a share button here in projects. I click on that. And as you can see, I get to share this project. This is very cool. I will share this with my YouTube video editor. Anuj, here we go. We get two different settings here. Can chat means that the, the person I share with can chat and view the project content. We have can edit. Can edit meaning can, the person I share this with can chat and edit the project content in the instructions, files. It's getting very exciting. Let's put it as can edit. And as you can see, we have also who can access only those invited or anyone at AI operator with the link. So I could also create that and I could give a link to one of my team members at AI operator. These are the domains that you're allowing your team account on. Because if I change this to only those invited even, people outside of your workspace cannot be added. So it has to be someone in your workspace. Cool, I am the owner. I can invite Anuj, he'll get a notification and he will be invited to this new project called YouTube Content Plan. Do you see how great this is? Imagine in your company, your teams can now start creating projects with instructions, project files, and they can share this across to other colleagues. So Anush can edit. I can also change this again to can chat or I can remove him from this project. So any chat I add on here, Anuj will be able to also see and interact with. And as you can see now, I have a TC for me and I have an Anuj AI operator, an AO. I can add a file. I can add some instructions, create project instructions for a ChatGPT project called YouTube Content Plan. I will include this in the project's instruction to guide each conversation within the project. The YouTube channel is my tip checker YouTube channel, which is all about practical tips and tricks to use AI in businesses. All right, this is good. Content strategy, content planning, performance tree style, tone, boundaries, perfect. Let's take this for now. Let's get back on here to add instructions. Let's add that. Let's just clear it up. All right, as you can see, ChatGPT is using Markdown here. So hashtag means heading one, two hashtags means heading two, and so on. Markdown is great to know because AI loves Markdown. Gemini loves Markdown. Claude and Tropic loves Markdown. Most AI tools prefer Markdown than just regular text. It's just a way to format your text for machines to understand faster and better. So I will save this. Here we go. Oh, that's cool. We, I have a TC. So I started to create this. I don't know what would happen after Anuj adds information to this. Hopefully Anuj, you can work with this now that I've invited in this project and also create some video from your side to make this video even better. Haha. Ha. So now I can work on this project. All right. So I'm creating this video about the new ChatGPT project's sharing feature. So I'm asking ChatGPT to research about it and let's create a great outline. The full project sharing interface is not available yet. Cool. When we're doing this, we can't even find this information. This feature is so new. It's not even on the ChatGPT release notes, but I'm already recording a video about it because this is super cool. This is a brand new feature that you can even find information on crazy. We have a sharing button on the projects and we can together collaborate on projects. All right. This is off the press 
Full project level sharing just landed, not just chat threads. Yes, that's correct. As you can see, now I've started two chats here myself, and then I'm going to let my video editor, Anuj, take it from here and create some more chats. Thanks, Tim, for inviting me to this project. Hi, I am Anuj, and I'm excited to show you how it looks from my end. So I received an email from ChatGPT where I got the option to view project and along with how I can use this project. Let's click on it. If you're not receiving any email from ChatGPT, you just have to turn on these settings. You have to go to ChatGPT settings, then go to notifications, turn on project email notification. You will receive an email. By default, this is turned on for all users. All right, right now I'm inside this YouTube content plan project. And I can see that in chat thread and I can continue my chat inside this. Along with that, I can also start my new chat. Before that, I want to show you, I can edit the instruction to this project. I can add files. Let's say I have to write a YouTube description for this project. What I will do is I will invite a custom GPT by pressing add. As you can see, now I will say just to write a YouTube description for me. But one drawback of using that is when you use custom GPT inside the project, you can't see in chat thread. So I'm not using that right now. What I will do, I will just use the detailed prompt to write the YouTube description. And before that, I would like to add files, which is YouTube video transcript. After that, I will ask him to write a YouTube description based on this prompt. Yes, it will create a new chat thread inside this project, which Tim can also see. As you can see, my YouTube video description is ready. Do I have to optimize for the final result? But yes, if you go to your project and here you can see new chat thread which I started and three dot icon which you don't have option here. So when you click on this three dot icon, you will have option to share this chat thread. You can rename this. You can move inside another project. You can remove this chat thread from this project. You can archive this or delete this. Now, what I notice is that when you look at your project, you can't find the actual difference between the shared project and your original created project. What you have to do is that you have to click on this three dot and you will find that rename project and delete project option. But on the shared project, you will find that leave project option. Now, I can't rename this as you can see in other projects. I just click on this one and I have option to rename this project. But Here's a trick which I found is that if you want to rename the project, you just have to double click and just you can rename this. But please don't do this without asking your project owner. It might confuse them with other project. Just because right now we can't separate the shared project and the original project. I think this is a glitch. This is not the hack which open I need to fix that. Okay. Also, I can share this project to my other team member in this workspace. Let's say I want to add Andrea to review this YouTube description. As you can see, I will click Andrea and I can have access to chat or edit and I can invite. Right now, I'm not doing this just to show you what you can do. So from my perspective, this is something which is great for collaboration. We were using Notion to collaborate better. But right now, I can see that ChatGPT is moving in the direction for better collaboration with not only tools, but with the people in your workspace. So this is something great. That's it from my side. Let's move on to Tim. This is the beginning of something incredible. This was expected though. OpenAI acquired a while ago, a company that did collaborative coding, meaning two developers or many developers could be coding together at the same time, editing and seeing each other's codes live. And it was obvious at some point that they were going to start bringing this type of features here. Until now, we were only able to share custom GPTs with our team members, but now we can share projects and we can work on projects together. We can let our team members only view and chat in these projects, or we can let our team members chat, but also edit the instructions or edit and upload and delete files in these projects. Imagine what's next, custom actions for projects, schedules for projects automating these projects and being able to work all together on these automations. I am looking forward to these collaborative applications as I teach companies and their hundreds of employees on how to work with ChatGPT. This adds incredible value in collaborating ChatGPT as a team together. Let me know in the comments, what is the first project that you will share and who you will share it with. If you've enjoyed this video, click like, subscribe to my channel, 
turn on the notifications to not miss these latest feature updates. This is Tim Checker, founder of AI Operator, where we train teams in being incredibly efficient and productive with ChatGPT or a similar AI tool. A training program is a mindset shift because this is not just about the tool. This is about changing our mindset and this is about relearning how to work. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.